Hello friends. Do you or a loved one use an insulin pump? Well, I do. And I want to share a very important safety tip I use when changing my tubing and infusion sets. Now these tips aren't emphasized strongly enough, in my opinion, anywhere else on the internet. So be sure to watch the whole video because you don't want to miss any of these tips. It could save a high blood sugar out of range. Remember, this is my experience. I'm definitely not a doctor and it's not medical advice. Just sharing what works for me and things I found along my journey. I have, however, had type 1 diabetes for 42 years, raised two type 1 kids, and worked as a diabetes educator. All right, let's get to it. Here is my tandem pump. And I'll walk you through a site change. So I activate the pump by hitting the one, two, three. Now, show you a facing view of my pump. Load, change cartridge, stop insulin delivery. Obviously I hit the check mark. There we go. Ready to remove the cartridge from the back of the pump. Bear with me here, folks. Now, usually there's a little coin you can use. I just use my fingers. I find it pretty easy to clip it out. There we go. So I'm removing the cartridge. Now, this is where it gets a bit tricky. I'm taking out the syringe. Now I'm a nurse, so this is pretty easy for me to do. And anybody that's been type one for a long time can handle a syringe really easily. So there you go, that's a syringe, pretty obvious. I use the pen fill vials. I just find them easier and more portable. So I'm gonna draw up some rapid insulin, in this case, Nova Rapid. Now it's important to have the insulin at room temperature. I find you get less bubbles, so I usually let it sit out for 24 hours before I do this. And go slow when you're pulling back on the plunger as well. You tend to get less bubbles. And then you do the flicking thing you see on TV, usually, if you're a nurse, you know exactly what this is about. So basically, I'm, I'm flicking it just to get rid of the bubbles, and then I'm gradually pushing the plunger up. Well, not really gradually. In this case, as you can see, I'm spraying insulin all over the place. There we go. So this is key, right? But not as important as the next step, so keep watching. So put that down. I grab my next cartridge. As I said, I use the T-Slim products for my tandem pump. Pretty wicked technology is actually uses a little bladder. I'm going to insert the syringe into and the insulin. So you're going to fill up the bladder and because everybody uses a different amount of insulin in the bladder, depending on their insulin requirements. It varies, so you squeeze it in and then you pull it all out, including any extra air in the bladder. There we go, almost there. And then you'll see there's a little bit of air in the syringe now. There we go, so there's nothing in the bladder now. So now I'm basically gonna do the same thing I did before. I'm gonna push the insulin or push the air out of the syringe, try to get the least amount of air as possible. So that's kind of key right there, actually, that first step. I want to get all the air out. It just makes it a little easier later. But it's pretty much impossible to do. So I reinsert the syringe. And squeeze the insulin in. And if you find there's too much pressure, just pull it out and stick it in again. There we go. So I filled up the bladder now with the specified amount of insulin. I'll show you the pump now. All right, yes. I'm gonna hit unlock. Is the cartridge installed? I'm gonna hit the check mark after it's installed, of course. There we go, clicks into place quite easily. There we go. So it's installed now, I'm gonna hit the check mark and then it does this detecting cartridge thing. I'll speed through it a little bit. 40%, 100%. Now I use the true steel because I have really bad luck with anything other than a true steel needle. I find that I can't quite easily with the uh, plastic tubing. 
All right, jumping ahead here. So I'm basically getting my tubing hooked up to the pump now. I've got insulin in the cartridge, but there's no insulin in the tubing. So I'm pointing to this little port here. You gotta pay attention to that. Then there's a couple of attachments you gotta hook, hook it up to with the true steel. There we go, we're gonna do that. All right, so it's time to fill the tubing up. And as the tubing's being filled, it's being pushed out of the bladder with the pump. I'm clipping it, if you can see I'm like, clicking the edge of the pump and if you look closely you might not be able to see it but I try my best here to get a visual you'll see bubbles literally coming from the pump even though I try my very best this part here is key absolutely key that little attachment that port where I screw it in it has a lot of air and this really is important to pay attention to absolutely crucial and you can see the air it's moving now the pumps being it's pushing out the insulin filling up the tubing and there's a ton of air now I really didn't do that when I first started using the pump I kind of figured this out on my own see there I'm just pointing it out to you just to emphasize the amount of air actually found in that little port connection piece so there's my big secret people that little port you've got to click it and click it and click it you got to flick that thing so there's no more air and then I also keep going, so I don't, it, it typically takes me 16 units of insulin to fill my tubing, sometimes 20, depending on the air. So just be a bit aggressive when you're flicking it, because you, you really want to get all the air out. Don't worry about wasting a little bit of insulin, trust me, you don't want air in your tubing. So the filling stop now, I see the insulin coming out, the needle piece at the end of the needle. I'm stopping the film and it does this other thing where it's detecting insulin in the bladder just to determine how much is left. 100% and then I'm done the fill. Now I'm gonna unattach that piece because it's just a little easier to insert it into my skin. And then I just take off the, uh, you know, grab the little wings at the end and then you take off the needle and the uh, stickers. And it's a pretty easy insertion. It doesn't hurt a lot, actually. It's it's quite nice. The new the newer systems they have now compared to like 15 years ago. There we go. That's the needle. Probably holding it too much. Stick it in my my fat belly. I got a little real estate down there, and then I connect the other piece, and then I put this all together, and then I, of course, the one two three, which is a bit of a pain, and then I'm done. Great. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button and comment on techniques you use when changing your pump sites. I really appreciate the comments and I will respond to them. Check out my other videos here and wishing you home in the range blood sugars and no air in your tubing. See you next time and bye for now.